So I think, you know, um, I mean, listening to BLS, for me, you know, the fun was when Mr. Magic first came to WBLS because he came from college radio. I won't say the station because we on BLS. So he came from college radio and um, him and, you know, Marley, he was playing these hip hop records and that was like an incredible time for us because it was the only time we would play it during the day on boom boxes and tapes and we was running around in the community, running around in the hood, but we didn't get to hear hip hop on the radio at all. And so Magic would only play it on the weekends. Now that seems like, that's like horse and buggy, right? But back then it was like amazing. So um, that for me, hearing Mr. Magic, BLS, and then of course Frankie Crocker, who was my man who used to, I used to see Frankie at restaurants and he would say, he would pull his arm and say, yo, come here and feel that. I'd be like, yo, Frankie, what are you doing, man? He's like, yo, feel that. He used to like flex his arms and all that. But he was, uh, him, they, they both were crazy, you know, real cool. And so the There I Go, There I Go, Frankie Crocker uh, theme song was amazing. And then Mr. Magic playing the hip hop. You know, my mother loved Frankie Crocker. You know what I'm saying? I love Mr. Magic. And um, that was amazing. And then, um. I think uh, one of the pivotal points for me, um, BLS is forever tied into my history because not only did, over the years that I do a lot of interviews at BLS and you know get a lot of support and love from the station throughout my career, but also um, I ended up really forming my relationship with Marley because I came up to the station for an interview and me and Marley was chatting and I ended up doing the Mama to Knock You Out album and that whole era with Marley based on us meeting up at BLS. So. Um, there is some some good mojo there as well. So shout out, you know what I'm saying, to the whole 107.5 WBLS. Peace.